Well, good morning. It's Monday, uh, time for another weekly vlog. And guess what? I'm in my new office. Check this out. So uh, it is officially 99% done, which means if you look, floors are done and walls are done and track lighting is up and my stuff is moved in and I'm organizing my desk is set up against this wall. And look at how huge this space looks. It just looks really, really massive. And uh, it's gonna be my first week working all week long in my new office. But I'm gonna do like a way more in depth like office tour. Um, but right now it's Monday morning and I got my coffee and I need to get to work. Um, so I'm gonna be like cuddled up in my like three layers of coat and uh, just trying to get some work done. But listen to how quiet it is in here. So quiet. There's so much peace and quiet and focus that's now available because of this stinking office. All right, Monday, here we go. So I'm doing a little front-end development project for work, just building some like landing pages uh, for some new features and things that we're doing. And uh, this is the problem that I'm running into. So um, these sections, um, this whole page is like supposed to highlight like different ways that people can use um, like the product or the app. And then we have like this framed phone and each of these are like value propositions. Well, like we didn't plan for this much content, but now this much content is gonna end up going in. And so um, I am just going back through and doing some CSS changes here on my staging platform. Just shrinking the text down, um, getting rid of this gap, because technically this is like a mistake, like that the text is there. I want it to like not display at all until you click. So I fixed that. Now the problem I'm really having that I don't like is that these underlines used to be specifically like um, for like a one liner. And now that they're multiple, when they show up on the bottom, they show up kind of funky. They're like crossing through. So I want these hovers to maybe like go on top of like each, uh, like the very top line. Like, so not, not anywhere near the baseline, but up at these top lines, so. So I just got a notification that uh, I got some mail that I've been expecting. So I'm gonna go check the mailbox, take a little break, eat some lunch, and uh, figured I'd bring you with me. Let's do that. So it's lunchtime, and uh, I just uh, stopped by the house and made myself a little lunch to eat, and I got an awesome package from Sticker Mule. I'm gonna be making some sticker packs pretty soon, and so I'm just like experimenting with who's the best like vendor to get them printed through and the quality, and I saw this awesome like discount to get 10 stickers made for a dollar, so I went for it just to see what they're like, so. It's, uh, it's my personal logo. Yeah, look at that. The quality of them is really solid. They even, if you look like really closely, you can see they still have a little bit of the grunge texture that I like to add into like my personal branding. So uh, that's cool. It also came with some awesome sticker mule stickers. So that's nice. And it came with a little coaster. I'm actually eating pretty quickly because uh, all of this week, um, kind of cool and exciting, I've decided to do a uh, a daily UI design challenge, like a personal exercise. So um, I have 30 minutes a day that I'm gonna do on my lunchtime and just smack out like a different concept every day for the next five days. Yeah. <laughs> 
and now I uh, grab my backpack and I'm walking to my office. You might ask, why do you grab your backpack? Because uh, I have my laptop and my other stuff in there because it's been so cold uh, out here lately in the office that I'm afraid my laptop and my keyboard and mouse and everything are gonna freeze to death, so I bring it with me. So one of the things that's super draining and it's a hard thing to balance always at work is emails, Slack communication, team chat, all those kinds of things. It just feels like if you let it, it can take over your day really, really easily. So I try to block out time in the morning um, to solely do like messaging and emails um, like right when I get in. Um, just for like 15 or 20 minutes and then I open up a block of time later on in the day like closer to like my three or four o'clock because that's like the middle of my day it's where I start kind of dragging a little bit so it's like why not do more administrative tasks that need to get done in those time slots so I kind of I read an article a long time ago, maybe I'll link it down in the description of like the maker versus manager schedule, um, how makers need like big blocks of like creative time to just concept and create and make and managers need like more like snippets of like precise scheduling throughout the day. So if you do both, uh, you have to be able to schedule both. So that's how it usually looks for me is like first 15 minutes is like doing some of that manager stuff and then I have a block of like three and a half hours where I do maker stuff and then I come back and do a little bit of manager stuff and I try to finish my day with any last little things of maker stuff. So that's how I kind of like format my day. Um, but right now I make sure I also format every hour, hour and a half. I take like a little five minute break. Um, and right now is one of those breaks where I'm gonna go uh, play with my dog out in my backyard. Come with me. I got the feeling if I wanna fly, I know that I could. I got a feeling, it's all feeling good. I got a feeling, it's all feeling good. The sun will show the way. What's up everybody? It's not actually Friday like it says it is right up here. The footage that you're about to see is from that Friday and it's an amazing time lapse of my friend Amber doing all this amazing hand lettering on my wall for me. Um, unfortunately, I lost the amazing interview where she talks about her process and like the way that she kind of plans things out. I lost all that stuff. So I just needed to film like a quick segment so you understand what the heck is going on. This is my friend Amber and she's going to hook me up with some amazing artwork on my wall. Um, okay, ready to see it? In 2010, thought I was doing something. And now I'm rapping with a crew or something. I guess the track don't really stick unless he's blowing something. And I never fit the shoe until I do or something. Yo, bracing myself like teeth, boy, it's the same old route on some new concrete. But homie, these tunes make you get a new ID. I'm trying to do my thing, but the commute ain't cheap. I'm on a two day week for all this rap these days. And we can still pitch the track to all the wack DJs. We're singing happy days, wearing tacky J's. And I'm just pumped that I made it out my nappy phase. Let's go. We can turn the whole world around. I'm in the backseat, really trying to hold it down. And if you up down from the lost and found, and get your hands up high.